Hello guys and welcome back by another character review from Torchlight. This time I will be reviewing the Vanquisher with her cat. I'm going also to call her... I'm going also to call her... Yes, I'm going to call her also uh, Falian and Aiko. So let's go to the Vanquisher on a normal. Because it's just a character review and nothing more. The disturbances in Torchlight were more severe than I expected. I must admit I felt a bit relieved. Petty assignments often signal the end of a vanquisher's career. I came to restore the flow of Ember, but the darkness below Torchlight ran far deeper than the mines. It would be a test of both my skill and my conviction. Evil must be torn out at its root, and this one had buried itself deep. Alright, so here's my little kitty. It's a lynx or something. This is the town of Torchlight. This is a little bit what you can see. Here you have the stash. That is the... She got away. Yeah, yeah. Shared stash. So this is something I already found on another character. And this is a little bit of Torchlight. Nothing more. Nothing interesting. This is your own stash. Nothing in there because just tired at her. People you can talk to, but regarding the quests. Um, these monsters attacked are disrupting my work. I am Vesmon, a scholar of Ember. I traveled to Torchlight to study the vast supply of Ember below. But these creatures make it impossible to obtain the samples I need. Perhaps you have more courage than these miners. If you're brave the tunnels and bring me a sample of gleaming Ember, I will reward you well. It should not be difficult. Look for the Ember at the first floor of the mine. Alright, no problem. This is a little bit more of the time, I know the mine is over there, but... Over here you have the map settings, you start with this. It took me a time to figure it out. You can have the map all gone, but I like it to be there. So we just can see where we are going to, what we have checked out and what we no, didn't. Stay out of the way. Oh, you're a dick. Oh, you're a ring, little girl. Ring, over here! I can't hold them back much longer! You all right, Sil? Rest here a while. I'm going to head to finish the job. All right. It's no wonder Master Ulrich sent for my help. The Ember Mines are overrun with these creatures. His letter was urgent, but I had no idea how dire things had become. I am Sil, and that was my companion, Brink. We've only just arrived in Torchlight, and it looks like we're going to need some help. You look capable, and I can pay you well. Please, catch up to Brink before he gets himself killed. Okay, lady, no problem. Have gained a task. I know. I've arrived in Torchlight and begun my exploration of the tunnels below. These mines are vast and aglow with ember. I've never seen so rich a vein. Miners labor to extract it and take no heed of my warnings. I cannot blame them. I, too, could not resist the pull of Ember. This Ember is the same as that which afflicts me. The taint within it resonates with the corruption in my bones. I can feel it so clearly now. Blight springs from the depths and flows up through the veins. To purge myself of this evil, I must find the source. Good. So. This is... Uh, I just recorded the destroyer. So it seems that the setup of the mines are random. It's been a long time that I've played this. So it is really kind of the old Diablo. And that's also why I probably like it this much, because it is really some kind of old Diablo cone, like Diablo 1 and Diablo 2, which I really loved. So this is really a range lady.
with um, alt you can see if there is stuff laying on the ground that you would want to get hello there once you get a little deeper down you start running into fashion stone bits of an old statue something buried deep here mark me all right I must say I'm already finding more than I find on my destroyer in the first part of the game. So everything is really different. Yeah, we are starting from the other side. This was um, level two in my destroyer. somewhere and range attack it just attack while you're aiming is what I meant no no exactly well that is that's your mana obviously pretty powerful fishing puddle that's a good one you have completed a task nice this is how the fishing puddle work. You just fish, you wait until this is all the way in there. There was too early. I know I didn't find anything. You really need to wait until this in there and became red. Otherwise don't click it because you will not catch anything. It can be fast, it can take a little while. Almost, yes. Got a fish contained under fight unidentified boost. Get another fish. You can use that to feed your pet. Uh, like your inventory and your pet's inventory, as you can see, we have one fish transform into a work room for 120 seconds. You can just say, Pet, hold that for me, please. I found two spells. Learned and learned. We have unidentified scrolls where you can identify shit with that is worse than what we're gonna take the pet. That is worse than what we are wearing, so we are going to give that to the pet. We cannot wear that and yet, so we burned that there. We cannot wear that yet. Uh, 230 damage, so that one is better, so that one goes there. Cannot wear that yet. There's a one-handed, so I'm gonna put you there. Oh wait. I think I prefer that. I'm gonna keep you for now. Not better. Not better. And those we want to keep. Oh you can also do that and like say I wanna have you. So you do what you prefer. Um, we're going to use the town portal. Go to town. So we are able to deliver the quest. What can I do for you? You say, aha, I see you found the gleaming ember. I hope it wasn't too much of a trouble. Here's your reward. This is a fine, clear piece, but still, there's something odd about it. All of the ember from Torchlight seem to have a special quality, while well, I soon understand it better. You have gained an experience. Quest number two. Ember is the essence of magic, and it assumes aspect of its environment. This is why ember from different locations can appear and behave completely different. I've heard of a vast necropolis buried below the mines. Death Glaze Ember can sometimes be found in such places. Studying such a rare type of ember is a long held dream of mine. You bring any if you find, won't you? Sure, no problem. Then we go here. Hello there. 
I'm the great Bart Thrill. Perhaps you heard of me. No? This is the problem, really. Despite my astonishing talent, word of my ascendance has not yet spread among the masses. My ability is beyond question, but perhaps I have not yet found the talent truly worth telling. Perhaps your heroic deeds will inspire me. A beast known as Vagashir has been emerging at night to prowl about torchlight. He is said to be a bat-like creature with great power. His lair is said to be on the third floor of the mine. Slay him, and I, I will immortalize your battle in verse. Sure, no problem. So, did that. No real other quests. We can put some shit in the stash if we want to, like that, or anything like that. We can now use uh, those. So, let's do that. Are you better? Are you worse? Increase the fire damage by 2% faster cost speed. So, that one is better. We're gonna give that to the pet. Yeah, I know. And go back down. Alright, so... Loading is not that fast, but well, going further into the mines. This one is not as fast as the one or the 200 um, weapon was. not ranged as far as the other one was. As you can see, come on. This is the place down, but we're first going to check something else out in here. Because we haven't discovered everything yet, I thought. Nope, we did not. The door I just opened. found a secret. I thought there were two in this level, but I don't know where the other one is anymore, I think. Uh, I can't quite remember. But well, that doesn't really matter. We're going down now. Elevator, that's over here. I'm sorry if you hear my washing machine in the background, but he just gone insane. But oh well. Uh, um, let's see. Alright, got that, got that. Is there something? No. Is there something you can destroy? No, there's something lying. Gold. Okay, no problem. The range of this one is not that high. That doesn't really matter. You can go up there. kill it. Good. You didn't drop anything? No, you didn't. Alright, no problem. That's the door, I know that. Oh, you didn't kill it. No, no problem. He's dead, anywho. So we leveled up. When you level up, you can set points. 
like in your skills. I thought, yeah, you can set points in a uh, character too. So we have strength, dexterity, magic, and defense. Um, we need to do dexterity to boost up the range. I have nine points remaining. I'm gonna put that to 15 and I'm going to do it in magic. No magic, not defense. Uh, we're going to do it like that. So, and over here, you can choose what you want. Marksmanship, Rogue or Arbiter. We're going for this one. We're going to put it in there. We have the Ricochet as well. We use and some zombies. We are going to check that out right now. Like that. When there are a little bit more and we can see something that we're doing. Zombies are now fighting over there for me. They're not really following. So it seems. Hello, Mister. Where are you going to? Come here. Um, we have elemental protection. That is when your helmets are gone, I guess. I already used to should have found ring. But what is elemental? Oh. I'm gonna change that for that one. I find it quite weird that we haven't found green yet. I think I took the wrong about. Because we should have found him already. Leather shoes. But I still have my little cat that helps me around, so we should totally be fine. Let's go back to the one-handed weapon, or two-handed weapon for now. My inventory is full. Oh, my inventory is full. Was kind of waiting for that. So, let's see. Identify some parts for me, please. attack I don't know right. you can see here that some things are better than the others I have not been wearing any of these so I'm gonna wear them no matter what better 
so you can go. This one is way better. You can go. You can go. You can go. You can go. This is basically how I do it like that. Uh, that's not really better. I'm gonna keep you. So now I have these. I'm gonna take the fish out for now because I don't know if he's going to do that too. And then I'm going to push this button. Oh, did I do that? Oops. Send pet to town to sell their Your inventory. So my pet is going now. So I need to watch out now. Boy. Come on, do what I want. Your pet has returned. Fuck up. Finally, it does what I want to do. It doesn't do anything anymore, that sucks. If my pet has returned, where is my pet? He brought a lot of money, I saw that. And we find Brink. Send you after me? Yep. She must have thought I was in over my head again. Yep. Well, she's right. These monsters are getting stronger, and I could use your help. I'm going after the fiend that was attacking Sill on the bridge. Will you join me? Sure. Why not? So we did eventually find him. I thought that. Can you say that? I lost him. That I didn't find him yet. Well, I had to find him. But obviously, I didn't. I find him at a good time. Is there anything over here? A trap has been sprung. Been sprung. It is too bad that I'm not a range now, but this weapon is quite quite powerful, so that's good. Yet again, I'm putting it in here. Oh, wait, no. Like that. Range weapon. Um, why is it all dark like that? I'm going to end this episode, but I'm going to show the skills of Mark's mission. So just that you can die so that you guys can read what it can do. Just know a little bit more of the vanquisher. And then we have rogue. We have Arbiter. A 
and that was everything you have for the Vanquisher. Now we're going back to town so that I can end this episode. I'm just gonna put the scrolls in my stash up here. Oh, boss. Because I just want to keep those. And this was the Vanquisher with her cat. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked it. And I hope I will see you guys in the next one that I make. Bye bye.